Peter Piper in a pickle lips his piccolo and ponders. Poppycock. Impracticable. Peter Piper pouts. Patty Poet, apoplectic, nibbles pencil points like pretzels. Paw. Preposterous presumption. Pickle. He explodes. Pimpled, puce, compact, priapic prominence of protoplasm, plucked, preserved in pickle spices, pasteurized and packed, picked at Plattsburgh, packed in Pittsburgh, shipped perhaps to Perth or Pueblo, proudly pre-perpetuated, spoil-proof, poet-proof. Pickle, you're the prototypic party pooper posed in portly solipsist aplomb upon a precipice of poise. Pickle, you're a pumped-up Humpty Dumpty of presumptions. You're a pop-off. You're a prankster. You're a pipsqueak. You're a punk. Pickle, you're a pest. What paltry upstart of a pop composer praised me, piqued me, prompted me to promise to compose pickle polkas, pickle peons, pickle epics, Pickle plain chants, pickle pibrox, pickle plaints in perfect pickle pitch. Peter, pack your pipes up pronto. Pull that panoply of speaker plugs and amps and preamps presto. Paddy poets pooped. Poor perplexed expectant pickle, posing primly for its poem. Precious pair of pickle pusses passing cups and plates says Patty, pleased, to Peter, panicked. Pass the planter's peanut butter. Pass the popcorn. Pass the pilsener. Pass the pickle, please. Let us contemplate the sad fate of the brisk, crisp, young cucumber who lay in a green, leafy field in blissful, oblivious slumber for all of a sunshiny summer. Who rudely was pulled from his bed, one of a very great number, and heard Trodem cukes in the brine. This happened in early September. A terrible thing to remember. Slowly he felt himself change. It made him increasingly glumber. His temper got sour and mean. 
a pickle by early November, a nosh for a butcher or plumber. How like to ourselves, when fate's finger, fickle, turns a young kook to a sour old pickle. Morning. The soft release as you open a jar of pickles. The sun through the window, warm and moving like light through brine. The shadows of pickles swim the floor. And in the tree, flowing down the chimney, the songs of fresh birds, clean as pickles. Memories float through the day like pickles, perhaps sweet gherkins. The past rises and falls like curious pickles in dark jars. Your hands, sure as pickles, opening dreams like albums, pale, kosher pickles. Your eyes grow sharp as pickles, thoughts as green, as shining as rows of pickles, damp and fresh, placed out in the afternoon sun. I could spear with a stick or prong on a tine from its bathtub of brine, but I leave it afloat on its saltwater moat where the green tips shine inescapably mine. Charmed by the sleep of gherkins swarmed in deep barrels where they pickle for beef and pumpernickel dreams. That's how they cure and why they endure, irreplaceably pickle at two for a nickel.
Polly? Polly, goodness gracious, you just quit your making faces. Polly laughed at what they said, cocked her nose, and went to bed. But the big black bugoo heard, and he came without a word, walked right in, you bet a nickel, in his hand a great green pickle, stalked along with steady pace, stuck it right on Polly's face. Pinned it fast, and there it grows, poor Polly Pickle Nose. Since man has always been enticed by what's provocatively spiced, some clever cook his taste to tickle ingeniously devise the pickle. The pickle hot, the pickle chili, the cauliflower, the piccalilli, the garlic dill in jar or firkin, the crisp and aromatic gherkin. The pickled peach, the pickled pear, the watermelon pickled fair, and even in peppercorns and brine, the pickled trotter of the swine. Oh, savory relish guaranteed to waken with the greatest speed. A palate dull or fickle. Accept our praise for sour, for sweet. Garnish of salad, boon of meat. The condiment which, I repeat, makes even the humblest snack complete. The incomparable pickle. <laughs> 